everyone and thank you for joining our presentation i'm presenting to you a paper entitled of loading an energy efficient iot solution to the age a practical solution for developing countries i'm gibson kimutai and i'm presenting this on behalf of dr Angensi, dr said and professor dr anna foster so this is the outline of our presentation so we'll start with the introduction so agriculture is playing a critical role in economies of many countries, especially developing ones. And among th th those crops that are being cultivated, tea is an important crop economically. And some of the leading tea producing countries include China, India, and Kenya, also Sri Lanka, Vietnam, among others, which are producing less than 5%. Presently, we are seeing a high revolution in terms of computing, especially from IoT and artificial intelligence. IoT is promising to connect devices so that these devices can be able to talk to each other, they can be able to coordinate and perform some tasks autonomously. And then artificial intelligence is coming in to aid the intelligence of these sensors and accurate so that they can act independently and also make some predictions so these are some of the application areas of iot and ai which include healthcare agriculture and among others so among the groups that are being cultivated black tea is the most popular among the tea that are being cultivated and this black tea accounts for more than 78 percent of the daily consumption then the processing steps of this plug tea are plucking, metering, CTC, fermentation, drying, and, and sorting, as we have seen in this figure. Among these steps, fermentation is the most important one. This is because it is the, it is the process of oxidation where the tea which has been cut in the third step reacts with oxygen to form two important components. They are fluffins and they are rupins which are the primary determinant of the quality of tea. And you, you classify this tea in, in sorting based on how ripe they are, how much they are fluffins and they are rupins, this tea has. So currently, the, 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 the methods that are being used to, to detect optimal fermentation is by observing or by looking the tea when they change color to copper brown, by smelling the tea, looking for the fruity smell from tea, and by tasting tea. And these methods are, are, are not accurate and they destroy the environment that is created for fermentation. And so this is the problem statement. Some of the challenges that we encountered or that are being encountered in developing countries are intermittent internet connection, unreliable power supply, and also low electricity coverage. So in under intermittent internet connection, this the, the infrastructure is running either 2G or 3G, which are unreliable. A few areas are connected with 4G, but these 4G are also intermittent. Then we have unreliable power supply where in Kenya more than five blackouts occur in a month, each taking approximately six hours. Then in Kenya, more than 57% of the population are not connected to the grid. So these are the summary of the contributions that our paper is making. The first one is that we are deploying an IoT solution in the age for the first time. And then the second one is that we are applying due to cycling and code optimization so that we reduce the power consumption of our solution. The third contribution is that we are powering our IoT based solution using PV based energy source. So from the literature that we visited under the related door, we found out that folk and nature environments are being explored as an alternative to the cloud because of the challenges of latencies and also security issues in the cloud. However, cloud has some advantage over ages that their memory size is large and scalable, while age is promising lower latency, cheapest because you don't need internet and also high security because you don't have to connect anything over the internet. Then what came out clearly was that the, the, the aspect of the power consumption of the Raspberry Pi is a, a concern to many researchers and some of them or majority of them are devising ways of reducing the power consumption. However, Raspberry Pi 
came out to be among the most preferred microcontroller followed by Arduino. Then in our previous studies, we proposed a T-net model that is based on convolutional neural network. The architecture of T-net is that it had three full connection layers of 5, 12, 128, and 3 neurons respectively. So the three neurons now are coming in for the three classes of T that we are classifying under fermented, over fermented, and, and, and optimally fermented. So this is the, when we deployed this model, we encountered some challenges. Some of them was inter intermittent internet connection, high cost associated with hosting devices in the cloud, and security. The, 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 the factor was not, was reluctant to host their data in the cloud. So this is our proposed method and methodology where we have the system architecture. So you can see we have the image harvesting module, IoT based components with the edge and deployment in Falcon Cloud. The Raspberry Pi has an SD card which we are using as an edge server. And then uh, this is the energy harvesting module. That is the solar that is stationed that was stationed outside the factory. And this is the, how the components were arranged in the factory. So on the results and discussion, after applying duty cycling to the GPI opens and other components, we were able to save between 10th May and 16th May, we were able to save 0 0.66 watts our amount of energy, which was able or which is able to power our optimized solution for more than 14 hours. And you can see the distribution. So this is uh, the, 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 the amount of energy saved is directly proportional to the number of hours that we are using our solution. The more you use the solution, the, the more the energy you save. Okay. And then on the latency, we ran 10 pings on the, on the environment for 23 iteration, and we tested their performances on Shapiro wheel on the minimum, average, and maximum. So we can see that Alibaba is recording the highest latency um, this is because by the time we were performing our experiment, they didn't have a data center in Africa like the rest. However, we can see that the AWS, Google, and Microsoft have almost similar latencies, while age is, is producing the least latency. So further, we performed a one-way and over between the service providers at 95% confidence level to compare their latency time. So you can see the results there. What we can note is that majority of the P values that we are getting are less than 0 0.05, meaning that there is a significant difference in the latency time, but we cannot know where the latency or which one is better than the others. However, we can note that age is recording the least with the negative 125, while four comes in next with negative 69. And then to know where the latency or the difference lies, we performed another postdoc analysis using tacky multiple comparison of means. So we can see that the majority of them, like Microsoft, Azure, and AWS, were, were producing a p value of 0 0.1075, meaning that they didn't significantly differ. Also, Google and IPM, Google and AWS, also Google and Microsoft, however, age is registering the lowest latency time. In terms of accuracy and precision, so the, for the precision, the, the, when we performed a t-test at 95% confidence level, the lower limit was negative 0 0.15, when the upper limit was 0 0.08, which means that the range included zero dust, there was no significant difference in the two environments. While for the accuracy, the lower limit was negative 0 0.02, the upper limit was 0 0.2, Zero one, meaning that also zero was included in the range, thus there was no significant differences in their accuracy or precision. So generally we can see the performances in terms of precision and accuracy when we power the solution using the grid and also the PV. We can see that for the PV, the, 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 the results are much more improved. This is because um, when we deployed it with PV, we added some extra lighting on the fermentation bed, thus giving us better results. So these are some of the lessons that we learned. Real-time application needs to be deployed on the edge. This is because the edge is closest to the source of data and will likely give you 
good results. So there will not be high latencies. Then there is no differences in latencies in using different service providers. This is this has been shown from the experiment. Then another thing that we learned is that these service pro these cloud service providers prefer hosting their data centers in similar locations in Africa, Cape Town, in Europe, London, Amsterdam, and Frankfurt. Well, uh, another lesson that we learned is that PV harvesting is effective, but only after you have considered your petri efficiency, the mismatch factor, the pixel reduction in your region, and the discharge level of your petri. So these are the conclusions and recommendations. The first conclusion that we are making is that we need to adopt PV-based energy harvesting solution so that we solve the problem of unreliable power supply in Africa. For the recommendation, the first thing that we, the first recommendation that we are making is that we need to deploy thin networks of loaded to the edge so that we get more results, we more more precise results. We also need to deploy our thin net while powered by the PV so that we are able to make our solution to be usable even in those regions which are not connected to the grid. The recommendation that we are making is that we need to. In the future, we are recommending the future researchers to consider developing a resource allocation algorithm that can enable an age to offload some dust to the cloud and the folk on a need by need basis because you, you will re, will agree together that uh, the age is constrained, although it has some advantages, it is constrained in terms of resources. So it is necessary that so that it can offload some dust to the age and to the folk and cloud those that that's that it it cannot perform thank you for listening to our presentation and i'm happy to take your questions and comments thank you